All right, what's going on everybody? Quinn back here with another video. Um, today we're gonna to be looking at these Diode Dynamics, uh, the fog light kit. The, these are the SS3s. Um, so these are the amber slash yellow ones um, in the sport configuration. Uh, these do not have the backlighting. These are kind of the most basic ones you could get, but they look pretty sweet. So let's unbox them. And then after that, we'll go ahead and get them installed on the truck. Cut that open. And let's open these up and see what we get in here. Looks like a, some stickers, which are always, always welcome. So in this box, there we are. Look how, look how good those look, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked on these, so. Yep, those are the yellow lenses, which should definitely help cut through some reflections and glare on the road. Um, so I'll set that aside for now, and we'll see, and I'll set this box aside. Um, let's see. And in this box, looks like we have, okay, yeah, these looks like the mounting brackets as well as your harness that'll plug right in. So those are the harnesses. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick run through of exactly everything that comes in the box. Obviously, we have the fog lights, which look awesome. There's the back of them so you can see. These things are solid too. They feel really well built. Um, these are the brackets. Let me get that to focus. There are the brackets. And then obviously we have a wire harness for each of them. Just plug and play, and then all of the necessary hardware. Um, and then some stickers too. Who doesn't love stickers? All right, let's get these installed. All right, let's get this thing installed here. Um, so for the sake of this video, I'm actually gonna just pull off my front bumper just so I can show you guys um, kind of give you guys a better view of how I'm installing these. Um, and then when you go to install them, it's much easier. You won't have to pull off your front bumper. Um, you can kind of just pull back the fender liner and there's just a few uh, 10 millimeter bolts that you can peel back that fender liner and then kind of crank your wheel to full lock and then you should have good access um, through the wheel well there. Um, so let's do it. I'm gonna pull this bumper off and I'll show you guys how to install these. Got that off. Set this down. All right. All right, guys, I had to get some assistance filming here, but now that we have this bumper off, I'm glad we took this off so you guys can really see here because it's kind of tight when it's back in the truck. Um, it's totally doable, um, but this makes it a little easier for you guys to see here what's going on. So if you come in here, um, there's one screw that you'll have to unscrew here. Um, and if I take these fog lights, you'll kind of see um, there's two screws on here. So you can't access that second screw in there. It's, you probably can't see it, but so it makes me believe we're gonna have to pop these tabs out. Um, and I think it's just on the limited that you have to do this, which is kind of annoying, but so I'll pop this tab out and see if we can pull this out a little bit. We probably don't need to pull it off all the way. Um, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. And so if you can see now, there's both of the, so we do have to remove this like chrome stripping, which is annoying, but then we can access these two screws. So I'll go ahead and take these off. So now I'm gonna come around this side here. So now these should just 
put this other screw over here. But now these should just slot out. Yeah, there it goes. Now they slide. They slide out and there we go. It's a bit of a tight of squeeze, so. There we go. So now we have these stock ones out. I had a aftermarket bulb. Um, okay, now that we got those stock ones out, we can come in here and put these new Diode Dynamics SS3s in, which I'm stoked on. So um, as you can kind of see here, the brackets, um, so they'll slot in, these little ones will slot in, and then we'll screw down on. Okay, so now that we have our new Diode Dynamics SS3, we're gonna wanna put our bracket on. And as you can see, they kind of go on like this. These two ends will slot in there and then we'll screw those on. But first we need to attach the bracket to, um, to the actual fog light itself. So they provide the, all the hardware needed right here. So we will get these installed. All right, so now that we got that bracket tightened down, we can go ahead and plop these on in. So you want this side here where the wire harness connects to be down. Um, and then these two ends will slot in and then we'll screw them in. So, all right guys, <laughs> so I had the wrong bracket on. So it's important to know for the driver's side, you want the bracket to be, the, there's kind of a longer and a shorter version. I had the longer one on top. You want the longer one on the bottom for the driver's side. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch these brackets over uh, and then we'll get it installed. All right, we got those brackets switched over. Um, so let's slot these in now. One more thing. Um, so we'll need to, you'll actually need to make sure this bracket's aligned so when um, we get it on, it's sitting flush with the bumper. So I'm gonna pull this bracket all the way back here and then tighten it just so it's sticking further out as much as possible, which will then let it sit flush. So as you can kind of see, there's a slotted hole there. And we want it as, the bracket as far away from the fog light as possible. So tighten that up. Good to go on there. And then let's drop these in. So this, the two ends that are flush here and assuring that's the bracket or the wire harness connection is on the bottom. We'll slot these in here. So they slot in there and then we can come around here and then we can just screw these back in. And right here, as you can see, that's why you need the longer end on the bottom so it aligns with the screw hole. And two, no need to over tighten these. And so let's flip this up and see how that's sitting. And look, that's sitting nice and flush now. That's why you wanna attach that bracket properly. Awesome, so now that we have that there, Installed, we can come back and pop our chrome piece and back in and then put that little tab back in. And then this final screw that's holding it in there, put that back in. Just like that. And then we'll need to take our wire harness right here. We can just plug that into the back. Super easy, you'll hear a click. That's how you know it's in there. Um, and then, yeah, and then when we put the bumper back on, we can just literally just plug those in and be good to go. Oh man, this, it's plug and play. Diode Dynamics makes it really easy. It's just the limited aspect of it 
is kind of annoying just because they put these caps over here. If you don't have a limited, you won't have these caps and it'll literally just be super simple. Um, so yeah, go, we'll go ahead and do the passenger side pretty much the same exact thing. And then we'll get this, uh, this bumper back on the truck and show you guys how they look. All right. Now let's get this bumper put back on the truck. And a little tip, if, uh, if they don't turn on, um, you might just have to reconnect the wiring harness, just flip it the other way and try that. And then it should work. All right, shut this. Now let's, uh, let's see how they look. They're already looking pretty sweet. Plug and play. And yeah, huge upgrade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, I know this was a little more complicated with the limited trim than I thought, just with the, how Toyota makes the access for the fog lights. Um, but yeah, these things look awesome. So I'm stoked on these. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.